it is uh, uh, embedded in the console 3.6.2. This is very important, and this is the base of uh, uh, the work of a PhD student, which is Francesco Serafini, which is now in uh, Colorado. And uh, it is uh, um, uh, very important also for the, no, not, not only for the cleaning, where we just exploit few uh, capabilities of the ground, but also for the uh, uh, rainfall runoff model. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, it receives a, a topology file, you know? and it means that uh, your uh, basin, you can see your basin as a graph. And a graph is made by uh, node and arch. So, I have many nodes, and all these nodes are. Uh, uh, connected by arch and uh, the topology file uh, will uh, uh, explain how the uh, the basins are connected these basins are connected among each other so for example if it is this is one this is two three uh, four uh, five and six uh, a topology file is uh, more or less something like this it's a txt file where uh, you say that uh, uh, basin number one is draining in basin number two, basin number six is draining in, in basin number two, and then the number two is the number three, and then the five and the four, and the four and the three. Okay, and the three is the output. This allow us to, uh, to do what? If you think from an hydrological perspective, uh, basin number one, basin number six, and basin number uh, five can be independent. So they will be executed on uh, uh, different processors in parallel. Then the output uh, will be collected. And basin number two and basin number four can go also in parallel because they wait for the five and for one and six and then they can go on two, uh, single pro on two different processors as well. And this is uh, up to the output. This is, when you, this is useful when you have to uh, move the discharge from one point to the other. Here, here uh, you specify the topology and then it will uh, uh, do it on its own. So you will understand what is the uh, basin that is uh, a source and then it can go on parallel, and then it will also understand the basins that has to wait, uh, of, has to wait the input of number, for example, one and six, and it will uh, wait, and it will run, as soon as the input is ready, it will run on parallel as well. This will be useful for uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Let's speak about cleaning. Cleaning, uh, the, uh, there is a topology, but there is a topology to be specified just because of the graph. No? But we all can image that the connections are like this. If this is our outlet, uh, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, this is number four, number five, and number six. And all, all of them can be all on uh, can be all executed on parallel. Why? Because for the interpolation of the precipitation, I don't have to wait any subbasin before me. Because the precipitation is something independent of the discharge, for example. The discharge, the discharge in uh, uh, up, up slope will depend uh, on I will be will, so my value of discharge will depend on the discharge up slope. This is nothing to do with creating or with uh, uh, energy balance. Okay. So, whereas to do the discharge here, I need one and six. For the precipitation in three and two and one, just depends on the value that it is there, it is used for it being in that polyethylene in there. So for these reasons, uh, we can create a topology, which is uh, something like uh, abstract. So this is not the real topology, it's just 
a topology that is useful for running everything in parallel. Why I can <coughs> run everything in parallel? Because uh, precipitation, energy balance, uh, doesn't depend on what I have upstream. This cannot be made when we want to compute discharge. Why? Because discharge is a cumulative uh, value along the network, so I need to wait for upslope to provide you the, the answer in basin 2 or in basin 3. Is this clear? Theoretically, even if we run uh, the cleaning with the topology of the discharge, uh, we won't be fast <coughs> as this solution here, because this doesn't run everything in parallel, because this runs 1 and 6 and 5 in parallel, but then when it comes at 2, he has to wait for this check. So for craving, for uh, energy balance, for example, it's just a matter of uh, abstract topology uh, that allow us to run each component in parallel. And what are these components? So in the graph <coughs> dot scenes, you just uh, will provide the path to the topology, OK? Topo kawane craving. You just need that. And then it, it uh, assigns the transversal of the graph, so I, how I want to navigate my graph. And then it's done. It will run the single model all in parallel. Why all in parallel? Because we are using this topology here. And, and what component are we running? What component we are running? Uh, the components that we are running are specified in the uh, sim file. So you, you see one dot sim, and this is the uh, model that I'm running for the subbasin one. Then you have two dot sim, and this is the component that I'm running in the, for the subbasin two, and so on. What are those components? Those components are just cravings. The only difference is that. Is, is the only difference, where is the only difference? The only difference is in the uh, centroids file. Why? Because in this case, my centroids file is just the centroids of the basin that we have computed yesterday. So I interpolate just in one point. Which point? The centroid of the basin number one. What happened in the sim file 2.sim? I just interpolate in the centroid of the basin number two. And in the 3.sim, just interpolate in the centroids of the basin number three, and so on. Do you have a question? Do you create this, this one dot sim manually? Yes. Still yes. And what if you have like 15? This is why we asked you to do 20, 30 sub <laughs> <laughs> uh, But we are working on uh, make it all automatic. Uh, we are not that far, but we still have to work. Other questions? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. She said that after graph dot sim we should uh, run. No, no, no. You just have to run graph dot sim. Then he will go and go in one, two, three. And how it does? It does in order to get the parallelization process as optimum as possible. Yes, it's something like this. But 
this economia is always uh, the last one. Yeah. So the last one is the Is this? Is this example? And this alone will derive everything. And the first column. For example, is this addressing? Do I have to insert it in Russian mode or random? Yeah. Uh, also or random? No, it's random. As, as far as you specify one column for each subject, one row for each subject. Yeah. Any other question? So when you launch the job, that's, uh, that's seen, automatically launch the job yeah, as well. Yeah. Where do you specify the name of the topology? The top scene file. You in the graph file. How does it know that it should look for a one? Of the topology file. Oh, okay, okay. In the topology, uh, uh, <coughs> one, so the two, one. So the name has to be. The number. Yes. This is so the, the name of the top scene file. Has to the number, those are number, and we have to create it as number. So you will have uh, one dot sim, and it will refer to the one in the topology, and it will understand where it drains in case of the name for one of the other. Any other question? No?